Hello. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from the past couple of weeks. In the past couple of weeks, we've started off with the song and then we've done the scripture reading. But today is the third Sunday of Advent. It is the Sunday of joy. We've had two Sundays of preparation, of hope and peace. Today is joy. It's also called Mary's Sunday for Mary's joy. And the scripture reading today is also from Mary. It is her song of joy. It is Luke chapter 1 verses 46 through 55. It's commonly called the Magnificat or Mary's song, Mary's song of joy. So it is most appropriately sung. So instead of reading the scripture today, we're going to sing it for you. But I would encourage you to have your Bible out and to be following along so that you can take in that text in a variety of different ways, both by hearing it and also by reading it. And as you are listening and reading, I'd like you to think of these couple of concepts, hold them in your mind. First of all, Mary's song speaks of the joy of a changed world order, something new. So how can joy, you know, we, so often we, we are wary of change or we fear change, yet Mary's song is joyfully calling for change. See, Mary calls us to be change agents through this song of justice. There is joy in justice and there is justice in joy. So a question that I ask you is what gifts can you offer to someone who has been so long oppressed? And one more point. For too long in our Christian history, Mary is portrayed as submissive, when in reality she's not. And, and there are some small groups of Christian communities who have never thought this, and certainly Mary's strength is becoming more and more acknowledged, but that means that we need to continue to name Mary's strength. You see, Mary, her, instead of being submissive, she says no to the world as it is. She says no to everything in the world that negates God's message and purpose of justice for all. So as you are listening, I encourage you to hold those things in mind. And don't worry, all of this is listed in the description of this video. So you don't actually have to retain what I've said without actually having it written down. So let's listen to Mary's Song of Joy. My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the Lord of my heart is great. And my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fix your sight on your servant's plight, and my weakness you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be blessed, could the world be about to turn. No, I am small, my God, my all, you work great things in me. And your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. You may redeem the supply to sin and to those who would for you yearn. You will show your might, put the strong to flight, for the world is about to turn. My heart will sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. From the halls of heart to the fortress turn, not a stone will be left on stone. Let the king beware, for your joy 
sisters have retired from his throne. No need for sherwood, no more, who the food they can never earn. Ne'er a table spread, every mouth be fed, for the world is about to turn. Though the nations rage from each to each, remember who holds us fast. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's crushing grasp. His saving word that our forebears learned is the promise which holds us firm. Till the spear and rock can be crushed by God, who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, that the fault of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to Weren't those some incredible words of Mary's? Now, keep in mind, you know, Mary, she was very young. At least that's what our stories say when she sang this. So she had the young conviction of someone who was seeing the world around her and knowing, knowing in her heart that there was a greater purpose for everyone, a, a better reality that everyone could have access to. And that is joy, you know, that, that, that hope that plays into this joy for the future. Mary knew that there was something more and so she sang wonderfully and gloriously about it. So here's another thought to keep in mind. That Mary's song really speaks to, say, the balm in Gilead. And that call for justice and joy and new life that you heard in Mary's song, that is this balm. And it is a feeling that seeps deep inside of us. And it is the promise that God has made to everyone who has been marginalized that you can live. So today on this, the third Sunday in Advent, we've had our candles of hope and peace. And so today is the candle of joy. And again, your Advent wreath, if it has the two colors of purple and pink, this is the day to light that pink candle, as my mom is demonstrating pink. I don't have much pink. <laughs> I have purple. <laughs> I prepare a lot of things, but my middle name is Joy, so, you know, there's my pink. <laughs> so, as we think of Joy, and we think of these three candles, let us, let's sing together our candle lighting song of Light One Candle to Watch for Messiah. Light one candle to watch for Messiah, let the light banish darkness. He who brings salvation to Israel, God fulfills the promise. Light two candles to watch for Messiah, let the light banish darkness. He shall feed the flock like a shepherd, gently lead them homeward. Light three candles to watch for Messiah. Let the light banish darkness. Oh, the King of Glory. 